Hello, my name is Ilan Marcus. I'm the technical support manager for Minicom Digital Signage. In the next session, we'll be talking about DS Vision Digital. The product family consists of the broadcaster, transmitter, and receiver. The product features extension of media of one-to-one -one and one-to-many. Real-time lossless full HD over a single network cable. It supports HDMI and DisplayPort, IP and serial extension. The product is highly scalable, scalable distribution of media up to hundreds of screens, and scalable extension up to 100 meters, 330 feet, all the way up to 600 meters, 2,000 feet. In addition, the product enables remote infrastructure management, including performance monitoring for end-to-end -end proof of performance, and player switchover for continuous player. In the setup we have in front of us, we have a player connected by a HDMI cable to the transmitter, then to a network cable, a 100 meter network cable connected to the receiver, and an HDMI cable connected to the screen. I'll explain about the different connections to the transmitter and receiver. This is the transmitter. We have the power connected to the transmitter, a serial cable coming from the player, Ethernet cable enables the IP connection and management, DisplayPort or HDMI coming from the player, and the system that goes to the receiver. This is the receiver. We have the power, the monitoring for the proof of performance, the system coming from the transmitter, an HDMI cable that goes to the screen, Ethernet enabling the IP extension, and the serial going to the screen. For media distribution, we connect the player to an HDMI or display port to the transmitter, a single network cable to the receiver, and an HDMI cable to the screen. The serial extension enables sending a, a serial command from the player through our system to the screen. For example, turning the screen on and off. For the serial extension, we connect a serial cable from the player to the transmitter. Using the same network cable, we connect a serial cable from the receiver to the screen. To check this, we can send a serial command from the player through our system to the screen, for example, turning the screen on and off. I've just sent a turn off command from the player, and I'll turn the screen back on with a turn on command. Take advantage of the IP extension, we connect the transmitter to the network. This enables extending the IP to the receiver. And this, with this, we can connect IP devices to the receiver, and they will all be on the same network. For an IP extension example, I've connected a laptop from the side of the transmitter network, an IP camera to the network on the side of the receiver, and as you can see, my image coming from the camera through the 100 meter cable back to the transmitter, and we can see myself on the image. This is all being uh, transmitted over one single cable. All information coming from the IP camera back to the player does not affect in any way the image quality going to the screen. The information of the, of the remote IP camera can be sent back to the player and analyzed. For example, counting how many people have seen the display or changing the content according to the people standing in front of the, of the display. In order to display the scalable e extension, I will now add an additional transmitter and receiver to the system. I have my transmitter and receiver. Add an additional 100 meter network cable. Connect between the transmitter and receiver and the system port. I use the HDMI cable connected to the receiver that's giving the image currently. Connect it to the receiver. Take an additional HDMI cable, connect between the receiver to the transmitter. Take two power supplies for the transmitter and receiver.
and there is my image. This is for the media distribution, adding on the additional cables. I take, I take out the serial cable connected to the receiver and connect it to the new remote receiver. Take an additional serial cable and connect between the receiver and the transmitter. I take the Ethernet cable that was connected to the closer receiver and connect it now to the further receiver. Connect a network cable from the receiver to the transmitter one side to the close receiver. This is connected to the Ethernet socket and to the Ethernet socket of the new transmitter. All cables are connected and we're set to go. This is the image 200 meters away. We will now focus on the management features. The first feature I'm going to show is the performance monitoring capability that enables proof of performance. In players nowadays, on PON request, we can have uh, reports sent to the customers saying how many times a media was sent to the displays. We don't really know if the media was actually displayed on the screen. The DS Vision Digital embeds a watermark on the media in the player side and then monitors the media presented by the display. This mechanism completes the proof of play capability of the players. For this, we place an agent on the player side that runs in parallel to the video. On the receiver side, we connect an, the audio out of the screen to the receiver itself. And we keep on monitoring this watermark that the agent has placed. With the use of a, a monitoring tool, we can monitor the status of the system. As you can see over here, the system is up, the system is playing. We have no problem at all. As soon as I turn off the screen, for example, we will see an immediate alert. As you can see, in this specific uh, example, we use a Nagio system, which will display the display down. Currently, it's up the display will come down, and we can take this a step forward with the Nagios and send SMSs and emails to the administrator. In the DS Vision digital product, we have uh, a possibility of connecting two players in parallel to the transmitter. You can see we have two players connected, one with HDMI and the second one to DisplayPort. As soon as the major player has become down, I can remotely switch between players and enable continuous playback. In the setup we have in front of us, the primary player is now playing the video we have on the screen. I will now change to the secondary player with the management. I have now activated the secondary player. As you can see, different content playing from a different player. And this switchover can be done, as I said, remotely to enable continuous playback. To summarize, I'll just go over the features we talked about today in DS Vision Digital. We talked about the extension one-to-one. -one. We talked about uh, full real-time full HD, supporting HDMI and DisplayPort, scalability of distribution and extension, remote infrastructure management, display monitoring, and continuous playback. For further information, please visit our website. So long.